Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not some Moon or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio placement that is resonating with you, you may find messages that also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Somebody flipped over, did it? Maybe not. Oh, yes. Four of swords and... Uh, all right. Anywho, we're jumping in. What we have for Scorpio? Two of wands, four of swords, nine of cups. Very interesting. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? Love, energy surrounding them, coming towards them. What do they need to know? Empress. What do we have for Scorpio? Two more cards, please. Two of cups. Beautiful energy for a love reading. I just heard somebody can't stop thinking about you. We also have two twos here. Two could be an important uh, number for you. And we have the three of wands and the three of swords. So two twos and two threes. Bottom of the deck is the knight of wands. Very interesting. Sagittarius energy with that knight of wands energy. So, all right. Could be a different couple vibes that we got going on here. A couple different groups of you. But the two of wands and the empress is... Um, you know, very much I feel like you knowing your value, you knowing that you're worth what it is that you're asking for. And there could have been something that you've decided to move on from from the past year. The two of wands, sort of new partnerships, new contracts, seeing what the world has to offer, getting back out there, you know, might have been under a rock for a little bit, especially with this four of swords here. Could be you or, or someone else's energy. But the Four of Swords is like, you know, rest, not really going outside, not really, you know, very much self-contained, thinking about things, meditating, praying, contemplating, recovery, energy. Some of you are definitely getting over something here. Could be this Three of Swords. Could be a situation that you're leaving behind. You went going from the, from the Three to the Four. And it looks like if this has been a while, maybe it's been like three to four months two to four months, maybe even two to four years that you guys have been getting over something. Maybe someone you have children with for some of you. You're ready to get back out there. That's the important thing. The two of wands tells me you're ready to get back out there. You've taken the time to heal. You've grieved, you've mourned, and you're ready to see what's, what's, what's out there. You're ready to be, you know, you're ready to comb your hair again, start taking showers regularly again, and get back out there because it's like you're almost remembering who you are. It's like you woke up one day and looked in the mirror and be like, I'm pretty bad, you know. I, 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 I'm cute. I ain't got no business crying over whatever this was. I'm cute. I forgot how cute I am. Let me let me fix this hair up. You know? And it looks like as you're, as you're ready to do that, there is maybe a connection coming in here for you with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a mutual connection between two people. I also get if you've recently met someone new after recently re-emerging into the dating world, looks like whoever it is that you have met, they can't get their mind off of you. Very much like dreaming of the two of you, fantasizing. Very much seeing you as top tier. Creme de la creme. Some of you could absolutely be fathers, mothers, Taurus and Libra energy with the, with the Empress. But yeah, a lot of most of you are turning your back to whatever sort of mourning you've been doing. You've been mourning someone that does look like this is who you've been mourning. Ugh. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Knight of Wands, very much the, you know, the non-committal person. Someone you can't really depend on. Someone you can't really, you know, hold your breath for. It's painful. It sucks. Maybe this was who you had the mutual connection with. But I do feel like this is someone new. Someone that is more up to your speed. Someone that is more in your, more of your ideal. The Three of Wands and the Nine of Cups here. Nine of Cups is living your best life. It's also wish fulfillment. The Three of Wands is also manifestations materializing. So it's like this is the person you've sort of been waiting for type of vibe. This is the love you've been waiting for. Getting ready to receive the love you've been waiting for. Beautiful energy. But 
it looks like it is coming after a time, you know, when you decide to get back out there. So if you're just coming out of this sort of grieving mode, some of you are grieving, are grieving a player, you know, sleepless nights, anxiety, all that type of, all that type of stuff. They could also be still hung up on you. Oh, well, that could be a side note. But it does look like whoever this past person is that you have cut ties from. You've done your healing. You've done your, you know, you're at peace with your decision. You've made your decision. You're moving on. It looks like there's someone new coming in for sure. Someone that is very much more on your level. Someone that is ideal. Someone that you've sort of been manifesting, like with the characteristics of some of someone you've been manifesting. This past person, though, yeah, you reap what you sow. They gave you the three of swords. You gave them the nine of swords. I think it's a, that's a fair that's a fair exchange. You also have two nines here. Two threes, two twos, two nines. And the High Priestess, Pisces energy. You know this person's going to miss you. But I don't think you're looking in that direction. The letter B and J could be important to you. I do get you're not, take, you're not speaking to this person. And they feel it. They absolutely feel it. I do feel that you're on to the new. There is absolutely someone new coming in for you. It could be a fire sign. Maybe Libra or Taurus. Even Pisces, I don't think you're going to be looking back because this person's going to want the same things as you do. The Two of Cups tells me they do want the same things as you do. Doesn't look like this press person did. I do see you have this person on ice, though. Doesn't look like you're giving this person the time of day and they're feeling it. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, they're feeling it. But that's okay because they gave you the Three of the Swords. That's, you know, you got to give them something. Yeah, you're not you're not allowing yourself to stay stuck anymore. You're moving on. And it looks like there's something really nice coming for you. Kind of like the person you've been waiting for. Someone, you know, that someone that fits what you've been waiting for. What do you have for Scorpio? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For those of you you very much could be just absolutely moving on all together with someone new. And it's like once this old person gets a wind of it, <laughs> it ain't going to be pretty. Not for you, at least for them. It's going to be very difficult. They're going to it's going to hit them hard. And I don't think you're going to tell them either. I mean, you have you don't need to, of course, but it does look like you are. This could be the one. See, you uh, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So if there is someone new that is absolutely rocking your world and checking off all the boxes and this person wants the same thing as you do, someone new, heavy on someone new, this could absolutely be the one. This could be someone that you spend a lot of um, years with engagement and this could be the one. The past relationship could have been very codependent. Yeah, the past relationship might have been very codependent, very unhealthy. No bueno. What do we have for Scorpio? But this new person, though, things might move quite fast. And you guys might move in together. I'm seeing four of wands with these two. Could be moving in, could be, you know, a little bambino. Definitely could be an engagement. What do you need to release? If you haven't released it yet, I think you're working on it. I do think you're working on releasing this this past thing over here. You are you are working on releasing it. And if you're not quite at the two of wands yet where you're ready to get back out there, you will be soon. Because there will be a day that you wake up and look in the mirror and remember who the hell you are. And that's going to be the spark that you'll need to be able to attract what it is you've been trying to attract. Expect powerful change. Yes. What do we have? Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Don't water yourself down for anyone. They can take all of you or nothing at all. Yeah. This is absolutely remembering who the F you are and not apologizing for it. This is the realization that you're not for everybody, but who you're for, you're for in a big way. Be a effing weirdo. There's power in that. Yeah, this is you realizing you're worth exactly what you you're, what you're desiring, and you're willing to wait. You're willing to let go of anything that is not in alignment with you. Anyone that doesn't want what you want, why would you even further that? Why would you even continue to invest? Might be a bit, you know, painful in the beginning, 
But I think you've absolutely learned your lesson here. You've become absolutely trusting in yourself and believing that you deserve what you want. So it's nothing for you to say bye to anything that is not in alignment with that. And that's usually why we get what we want. We demand because once we start demanding it, the universe has no choice but to give it to us. There's no settling. There's no wavering. We want what we want and that's what we want. So usually that's what you get. Scorpio, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I'm going to see you guys next week.